we're uh, just getting ready here, guys. So while while people are bubbling in, first we'd like to uh, welcome you guys. And and if anyone has any questions about anything, just off the top of their head, they're like, hey, I need this pressing thing answered. Just be sure to drop it into the chat or the Q and A. Yeah, one of the things that I'm always curious to hear about is number one, where are you tuning in from? Number two, what are the specific goals that you're trying to accomplish? Um, the other thing is if we want to tell what type of insurance you guys are doing, because we know we have different types of insurance salespeople and professionals here. And um, each of you have your own sort of channels that you're on. Love it. Thanks. Alex struggled to get in initial meetings. Also, if you guys want to talk about the channels that you're using today, Outlook, Gmail, do you have a CRM that you're using for communication? Are you doing text messaging in bulk mm -hmm. one to one? Um, let us know the channels that you're using, because what we're going to do here today is, is give us some individual time. So when you guys have like, hey, I have this problem, I have this channel, I have this thing I'm trying to accomplish, we can actually give you guys some individualized attention here. There's going to be a general overview that we're going to start here, which is just the general concept. You guys are here. The concept of video is not brand new to you unless maybe you, you caught on here at the last minute. But what we're talking about with Dub, with video in general, is bringing this to our email and text communications. We're bringing ourselves, the human element, into the messaging that we create. And sometimes people overthink this. They're like, well, I want to do this like AI campaign thing and do this and that. And it's like before we've even done the basics. And so that's really where I want to start, which is just the basics. This is where 90% of the success stories that we've obtained from people, all the case studies, the testimonials, most of it is from the core use of video, which is going to be one-to-one -one messaging. It's when you get a lead, it's a past client, it's a referral, it's someone that you've never communicated with before, or someone that maybe hasn't seen your face, or maybe you're giving someone some less than ideal news, or maybe it's great news. Any of these opportunities where you're going to be communicating with someone on a one-to-one -one basis, that's when we should be doing a video. And the, the whole point of it is using the technology, it's easier than typing out this long response and it's going to make a better impact, a better impression, a better relationship with that new lead than text email ever will. My favorite thing to say is, and this is very true, we've all written a lot of emails, a lot of messages, right? How many people have responded back and said, wow, this is an amazing email. You're such an eloquent writer. This is incredible. No one, right? Ever. Like the best I've gotten is someone said, hey, I'm going to steal this copy. This is a good copy. I was like, all right, yeah, that's good. Um, but when you communicate with video, especially when we're in professional services, right? They're dealing with you. There's competition. They're not dealing with a machine. It's not a software. It's not a T-Mobile. And this is where the difference comes in is we need to stand apart from that big block thing, from the machine, from the automation, from the robots. And that's that's how we're doing it. And so at its basis level, that's really what I want to just show you guys. I'm going to start there, make sure everyone has a very good understanding of using video just in that one-to-one -one messaging. I'm going to talk again about some of those applications, brand new leads, past clients. Like if you have past Past clients and you've never done video communication to them before, this is a perfect opportunity. Just a simple, hey, just wanted to catch up, putting a face to the name. I got this new tool. Wanted to share a quick video with you. How's it going? How's the family? How do you guys need any insurance, right? Obviously, you have your own sort of delicate way to place that. But um, that's what I want to show you guys first. I see some questions and stuff coming in. Thank you, guys. We will be able to answer those. Uh, Paul, we appreciate you. And, and you're you're beyond what this this sort of very basic one. He's the guy. Look, we're doing VSLs and, and sales funnels and stuff. So obviously, what I was describing a more advanced application. And I'm not saying anything negative toward, toward that. But what I'm saying is sometimes we get tied up in things that we're not quite ready for. You know, we see some really cool shiny object and we say, hey, go for that. So I want to just come back to the basics for some of you guys in the beginning here and then uh, go from there. So I'm going to share my screen here. I'm going to show you guys the two most common email clients, Gmail and Outlook, and how the recording situation is going to work in there so that this is going to be as easy as possible to, to do this. Now, now, uh, let me share my screen here and we'll jump in and, and then we'll answer some questions just after this basic part. So we'll start on the computer and we'll also talk about mobile. When you guys are inside of your email client, Gmail or Outlook, I'm going to use the browser version here, but the desktop version is going to be the same if you have an Outlook desktop. Now, instead of coming in and typing emails like this, right? Hey, John, I got some bad news or I got some really good news or I got something that it's going to actually be much better if I spoke to you. I just simply don't have the time to do it. Instead of doing that, instead of typing, you would come in 
here and you can see there's going to be a button right inside of the email. I know for some of you guys, our advanced users, this is the basics. Bear with us. I'm going to cover some really cool stuff later. Um, but just having this function inside of the email, again, Gmail, instead of typing, there's the ability to say hello. You can record a video just like this right inside of your email. So instead of typing that email, you're going to press record. This is where every new client every lead that you have time to respond to, every referral. I know there's sometimes not a ton, so you wanna treat every single one like a golden goose because you never know that one could turn to many. It could be a great opportunity and we wanna treat it with the utmost chance to convert them. So if you're sending plain text to those leads and referrals and those opportunities that come along so every so frequently, don't leave money on the table. Send them a video message, introduce yourself, give them your value proposition. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of tech after this that makes it so much better automatically as well. In case, again, some of our advanced users presets and stuff, you'll have already had one, but let's pretend I'm going to get a lead here. Hey, John, just wanted to put a face to the name. I got your information and I'm going to be in touch shortly. In fact, you may have already missed a call for me. That's why I'm uh, doing this video for you, but um, would love to work with you and your family. Give me a call. My buttons below. Um, you can also text me. There's a visit uh, my website with an application button there as well. Um, again, we, we can't wait to help you and your family. Thanks again. So super excited, sort of generic, right? What I said there, again, we're all in different types of insurances and doing different sort of offerings. But with that one application, one button, one thing, this video email is now ready to insert. And I can say, you know, video for John. And then that is essentially what we're talking about. The same function is available inside of LinkedIn or sorry, Outlook. So my little video that I just recorded, there it is, ready to insert. So these are the two more common, out, I mean, email clients, Outlook and Gmail. Um, however, if you guys have something else, Mac Mail, Yahoo, something else, right? There's a little button right here. This has the same function. There's my video, there's the share button. And now I can paste this into any email client, the non-365 Outlook, uh, Mac Mail, Yahoo Mail, anything that you have, same exact option. So this is what I was talking about, back to the basics, just the core function. This is where all of the success has happened. Like I said, 90 plus percent of all the great stories that we hear from all of our users that say, man, I hadn't heard from this person in two years and I sent him a video and he called me in five minutes. Those those are the types of stories that we're hearing from from this this type of application, for the most part. Like I said, the ninety percent. There's a, there's a ten percent, like our friend Paul, who's doing some really cool VSL automation, like some some high level stuff, and that is a, an eventuality. Some of us might get there, but for now, this is really where the money doesn't need to be left on the table. Leads need to be responded to as if they were you know important because they want to they want to feel that way. They want to know that you care about them, right? So this is the first part of the functionality is just recording the video inside of your email client. And, and there is, yep. Yeah, I wanted to chime in when you get a moment. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I was gonna say anytime that I've purchased um, insurance, whether it's business insurance or uh, personal insurance, you know, I've always gone through that the same thing in my mind, okay? Which is, which is really the following. Number one is, is this a strictly price sensitive transaction? Should I only be worried about the price here? Okay. And where I always land is the answer is no, that is not where I should land here. Just because someone gives me the cheapest price does not mean that it's the best offering. You know, I remember getting car insurance from my second car at one point from another, someone outside of my insurance provider. And I thought I was getting a good deal. I was not getting a good deal. I was actually getting a terrible deal, right? So what I, re what I realized I had to do was invest into the relationship that I had with my insurance agent and say, listen, I'm, I have a second car now. Let's get this going. You know, the same applies to rental properties or business insurance is that ultimately what we want to do, I believe, in insurance sales is not get to a place where people are strictly thinking about price sensitivity. They need to be thinking about customer service, relationship, trust, longevity, how this relationship that they have with this individual or group of individuals is going to help them throughout their entire life and death. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is a matter of life and death. Really, it is. And the reason why I'm saying all this is because the thing that we want to convey to people is that they can trust us, is that the way that we're communicating with them is the most authentic, direct, efficient, streamlined way. And I think what Darius showed is exactly that, because what better way to communicate with your clients 
than doing it with your with your face and with your voice and your work environment and specific visuals that you want to show. If it's your screen, it could be a document. Uh, if it's your face, if it's a story, if it's something in your hand, then that's a webcam or your phone. Um, we've built the whole technology suite for this. Um, the person that I wanted to introduce actually in the audience is Kirk, Chris Kirkpatrick. Chris, I'm going to uh, make you a co-host here. And Chris has had some tremendous success using dub using video you know leveraging a lot of this technology um with his clients now he's a coach so he trains insurance folks to do some unbelievable things um but he's also a salesperson and he's has some great businesses that he's uh he's been able to sell this in fact one of his famous stories with us is that he closed a 3.4 million dollar deal uh 3.4 million dollar deal with a video and he'll i'll let him share the story but anyways, Chris, love to have you chime in. Awesome. Uh, lovely background. Great to have you. Thank you. Yeah. So, man, I mean, there's so many different directions I could go with this. Uh, I don't really know where to start, honestly. Um, do you want me to start with the story, the $3.4 million story, I guess? That's the best story to start I mean, with. I know, I know you like that. So, um, so, so here's, here's the deal. Um, I, I love, for everybody who doesn't know me, know my background, I guess I'll start there. Um, I used to be the director of business development for a company called National Life Group. Um, they're big in the life insurance space. Uh, so I was there for several years, uh, decided to go out on my own, go independent. I created my organization called Life 180, uh, built up a good YouTube channel. Uh, our focus is on educating people. So obviously video content is a big, a big component of what I do. The thing that initially drew me to dub was, you know, we we always talk about like if we want to be if we want to differentiate in our ourselves in our marketplaces, we need to do things differently, right? Like it's like everybody shows up and everybody's doing social media, everybody's doing posts, everybody sends emails, everybody sends mailers, everybody does all these things, but very few people are really engaging personalized video messages. And when you do that, it's a way to make it feel personal, right? And the best way to make relationships and cultivate relationships and build those relationships to that no like trust factor is, you know, through that personalized experience of like making people feel special, right? Like, and that's it. Like, I, I don't know about you, but for me, I get a lot of emails and it's way easier for me to like rip out my phone and respond to somebody with a, with a 60 second video or a two minute video while I'm in my car getting out of an appointment than it is to be like, all right, I've got this thing. I've got this email. I got to go back to my office. I got to respond to it. I got to type up this big message. It's going to take me 20 minutes. I don't got time to do that for 50 people. Like it's just easier. So not only is it easier for me, but they feel more special at the same time. Like, so it's like a win, win, win. How do you, how do you beat that? Right. And so when you realize that, 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 that operating in this capacity, uh, like really differentiates you in the marketplace compared to your competitors, right? Like that's a big thing. And I think the other component that, that really uh, I, I like to touch on is the idea of commoditization, right? Like, so insurance in general, I don't care if you're selling property casualty. Uh, I, I'm like really big in the life insurance space. You know, I know there's all sorts of different, whether you sell long-term care or disability or health insurance or any of these things, or maybe a little bit of all of the above, I think it, it has this danger of kind of falling into this like commoditized marketplace. And as soon as you become a commodity, you're dead. Like you have no strategic advantage at all. And so this is a way, once again, to kind of build relationships and build that rapport and like differentiate yourself to and add value into people's lives and serve them in a different way that 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 helps you kind of stay out of that danger, that commoditization zone, if you will, right? And so that's really important. Now, my background and my passion is in helping people with money. Um, if you check out the YouTube channel, you'll see that. But the bottom line is like, I love helping people build businesses. Like that's my favorite thing in the world to do uh, is is just helping businesses. And uh, one of the one of the businesses that I run is a, a marketing firm and. Um, we do a thing called the Dream 100, and this is kind of coming to the $3.4 million story. One of my clients was a commercial cleaning client, and the commercial cleaning client, their goal was to go after these class A buildings, um, you know, because that's where the money is, right? Like they're, they're huge. But the, you, it, you probably can imagine the, hard, the, the higher the level, 
the harder it is to reach the person, right? So we had to do some really, really creative stuff to reach that individual. And so we came up with some really creative ideas uh, to send different types of packages and different kinds of things. And so, you know, it could be a long story, but I'll try to give the short version is like, we took a video and we inserted it on uh, a fire pad, uh, Amazon fire pad, um, and, and basically gave it to him as a gift. We included some letters. I included a couple gifts. I did some recon on the individual, uh, really high net worth individual who owned this building. Uh, and we were able to get, because we, you know, if you send a email or a, uh, a letter or anything like that, chances are their assistant, uh, is gonna, is gonna be like a gatekeeper. It's going to be harder there, but you know, if, if they order an Amazon package, it's going to get to them, right? Like, because that's personal, right? Like, their, their assistant doesn't open their Amazon package most of the time. It's it's just like it's personal. And and even if they did, by the way, with what we sent, if their assistant got it, they're still going to get the package because I sent Chicago Cubs tickets and I sent a jersey and we sent like these kinds of things that like the assistant's going to give it to them. Like if there's it, you basically blast through the gatekeeper. Right. But on that was the fire pad and on it was a note and it said to open it and watch the video. And they did. And uh, the guy literally called me within a couple of days and was like, hey, um, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing. And like, I don't like I've, I've never seen anything like this in my life. So you've got me intrigued. Like, let's talk. And like, what do you want? Basically, is what he said. Like, uh, and normally I would blow you off. But because of the nature of the creativity and how you reached out and I could tell, like, you're different. Once again, we talk about that word differentiation. He goes, because you're different and I can tell that and you put more intention into this, I'm willing to give you a chance, you know, to have a couple of minutes of my time. And so I got the owner of the company that I was contracted with to help them do these, you know, build their business. Ryan, I got him uh, and I a meeting with him. And literally three months later, uh, I think it was about two and a half months later, um, we went from start to finish before the, by the way, before the guy even, before the Cubs tickets were even like the game even happened, the business closed and he signed a $3.4 million contract. And that was, by the way, Ruben, the thing we haven't talked about with that, that's a $3.4 million annual contract. Hmm. And they've been doing it for three years now. So it's like $10.2 million. Like, so, <laughs> the business, like so we, we, should, like we should update our YouTube right? video. Like it, it's kind of crazy when you think about it like that. Yeah. And so, so, but the whole point to that isn't about the number. It's not about that. Like, and it's, it's, it really is just about how do you differentiate yourself? Like, and, and to me, it's, it's all about really knowing like, okay, we're talking insurance here now, right? Like, let's go back to that. It's, it's about identifying who your avatar is, right? Like knowing who you serve, uh, the most who you want to serve, uh, being really, really clear on what problems you solve for the, for those people, um, and being able to like identify the problems and then be able to articulate those solutions. Right. And the beautiful thing about the video marketing side, whether you're video marketing on Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or doing a video messaging through dub, um, it, it's, it's all the same thing. It's like, you're giving the chance for the other person to get to know you because the challenge is like, if we all just focus on our warm markets, we're dead. You got no shot at building a real big thriving business. Eventually, I mean, I know it's popular in the insurance market to start with your warm market and that's great, but eventually you're going to go through that and you got to, you got to expand. And, and so then the hardest part is how do you expand? How do you, how do you get that first conversation? How do you shorten and compress the time frame of building that trust and what I know is, uh, you know, I could send you emails, I could put you on an email list and you could watch my videos on YouTube, but, but you're kind of in control of like when you go to my YouTube channel or don't and like, you know, whatever. Um, but I can send you responses to questions that you have via video. You're going to feel more special. You're going to feel my heart. You're going to feel the level of service and authenticity and the, the way I show up. And you know what, by golly, hopefully you're going to like me, right? Like, that, and that's really, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I don't care. You know, I have another company. It's a job search company. I wrote this book, Executive Job Search Secrets, right? And it's like, I don't care if you're looking to find a job or you're looking to sell life insurance or you're looking to sell dub or you're looking to whatever. Like it, it, the, the goal is know who you're selling yourself to, know who you're selling your product to, identify the challenges that person has. It's no different than what Ruben is doing with dub, right? It's like, he knows what he has. He knows who he's trying to serve. He knows the problems that those people have. And he's tr all he's doing, he's an entrepreneur. He's solving problems that people have to make their life easier. And that's all this is about. 
Yeah, I love that. Um, Chris, I wanted to, first of all, I wanted to compliment you on your success and thank you so much for being a loyal Dub client for, <laughs> for this long. Thank you so yeah, much man. for the feedback. Um, one of my definitions of leadership is not what the person says about themselves or, you know, what uh, they sort of proclaim to be. It's, you know, who is following them. So, you know, you're a true leader in our community because people are following you. In fact, I wanted to share a success story with you, which I have not yet shared with you. Oh, that's and awesome. uh, uh, Scott, our good friend, Scott, he actually works in our building. And am I sharing the right screen here? I can see a video. I see. Hi, Dan. OK, great. So uh, this is uh, this is Scott, and he actually found us. Ironically enough, he, he was looking for a platform like Dub, and he found Dub, and then he ironically went to the contact page, and he went to the address, and he realized that we were in the same building as as he. Oh wow! <laughs> and and so anyway, so he came over to our space, and he introduced himself, and we've been kind of guiding him. He learned about your story, and he decided to to do what you exactly what you told him to do with the Kindles. Yep, like, like this, but he also did decided to do an additional effort, which was the pure digital play. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to kind of show you what that looks like. So what he did awesome. was he recorded personalized videos. This one's for Dan. He recorded personalized videos. And then what he did was he sent them a really nice card, a really nice greeting card. And then he pasted the QR code direct. Okay. He printed out the, the QR code to the video. And then if someone scans it, then they actually can play that video on a landing page. So kind of a kind of a cool thing. If you if you want to look at this example, you can you can you can scan this QR code and you'll see what it looks like. So this is the the version where if you don't have, you know, 60 or 70 or 100 bucks to send that nicely packaged Kindle, but you want to get the the power of video, then what we recommend that you do is just use a QR code, record a personalized video message for this individual, send either send the email like what Darius said, which is the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. Or if you'd like to have something physical, send a card. I think what he did was I think he put some uh, Starbucks gift cards in there. Mm -hmm. And it sort of gently obligates the person to respond back. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it's a, and it's all healthy and it's all good. And it always ends up in a, in a positive thing. So here's the update for you, Chris. He has been working on a ten million dollar deal, okay, uh -oh. in San Diego, and he okay. sent them. He sent the guy a a Kindle, a Dove video with a QR code in the, in the card, and then also a video email like what Darius showed. And I don't hmm. remember if it was through, through through Gmail or Outlook. And he got a response back. The guy was very impressed. Scott, you got you got me for thirty minutes. Let's talk. They got a meeting. So he booked the meeting and yep. now they're engaged. Yep. Now they're engaged. So let's see, let's see what, how this plays out. He has not yet closed a deal. This is a $10 million okay. deal. So it's probably going to take him a year. <laughs> you know what? You know what the cool part about that is, Ruben? So like, and here's why that happens, I think, or a big part of why, right? right. Is a lot of the challenges with traditional marketing and just sending uh, like mailers or letters or emails or whatever is that they don't know you, right? Like, so they see they see that letter or the email or whatever marketing piece that you're trying to use for prospecting. And if, if there's no video associated with it, they don't really know who they're dealing with. They don't know the energy. They don't know the vibe. They don't know if they're going to like you or not. And they're kind of confused as to what to do. And like Russell Brunson always says, a confused mind always says no, right? Like, and, and what you do by doing video is you like eliminate a lot of the confusion, not confusion about what you're selling, but confusion about who are you? What is your vibe? What is your energy? How are you going to show up? And when you build that trust with them in a video, they kind of know what to expect. Like when, okay, I'll give you 30 minutes of my time. They know that they're not going to waste their time with it. They know they're giving it to you for a reason. And they, you know, it eliminates that. All right. What's it going to be like when they show up? Like, what are they going to show up like? because they see how you showed up already, mm. right? Yeah. And so that that is wildly impactful, like to, yeah. especially to high performers, like that's important to them, you yeah. know? It's really important. The higher the level you go, as far as like the deal size and the level of individual that you're working with, the more, the more imperative it is to do something unique like this. Now, kind of going um, not to like pivot completely, but it's the same thing with like personalized com campaigns. We did a campaign one time on LinkedIn. So I utilize like this LinkedIn automated messaging service, right? Um, it's connected. I don't know if anybody's ever heard it, but like 
So we utilize connected and, um, with that, because we have LinkedIn sales navigator, you can do really customized searches in groups. And like, I've got a couple like life insurance groups that I'm a part of. And hopefully I, you know, if any of you were in the life insurance group and got hit up by me, you know, you, you now, you know, my secret, but, but here's the deal. I, I would go into this group and I would do a search for everybody in that group named John. And then I would compartmentalize it and I'd find 300 people named John out of like 50,000 people. Right. And I would create a custom list of that. And I'd create a custom campaign where I'd send it to them, but I'd create that video. Hey, John, it's Chris with Life 180. I'm just reaching out to you because I see we're in the same group. I want you're, I see you're into life insurance, whatever. Now, what does that do? Because I start with his name, blah, 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 blah. He feels like it's, whoa, dude, this Chris guy just created a completely personalized video. He doesn't know I'm sending it to 300 Johns at the same time, right? So it's a way to like, you can do things like this. You just got to think outside of the box, you know? And I could do that with John. I could do it with Kathy. I could do it with, you know, find the 10 most popular names. All of a sudden I got, you know, 3000 people I'm sending video messages for, and it's just scale. It's duplication. It's, you know, and, and this, this, this business, you know, it can be hard. I don't know, like, you know, the different types of insurances everybody's into, but I do know that the principles of success never change. I don't care if you're sell selling commercial cleaning, like I was doing over there or, or life insurance, it's know your avatar and other problems, identify solutions, be able to communicate those solutions, and then figure out a way to, to bring it to them on scale in a personalized fashion. That's like, it's pretty straightforward. I love that. Um, before I, Darius, before I pass it back to you, I wanted to kind of put a challenge out there. You know, if anyone is looking to land uh, either one deal or a burst of deals for their pipeline, I would love for you to just put the number one in the chat. If you are looking very, very, very aggressively and, and, and you're willing to go do a, what I call a video blitz, which is kind of like what Chris was talking about, which basically means you have your hot 100. These are your hottest leads that have been in touch with you and you haven't been able to kind of get it over the, the, the finish line. And you're willing to, to go send a personalized video to all 100 of those people. So it's a, call it a 30 second video to 100 people. Um, if you're willing to do that, put number one in the chat and I want to personally meet with you and I want to guide you on how to do this in one day. You can do this in one day. You have to block your calendar out. And the dog, if you have a dog, it's okay if the dog's in the office with you. That'll probably help. <laughs> yeah. So, so Ruben, to that point, I know there's a lot of people and, and maybe everybody here doesn't have this challenge because maybe I don't know who's subscribed already, who's not, whatever. But one of the things that I run into is a lot of people that are uh, maybe a little nervous or scared about yes. doing video, right? Because yes. it's like, all right, it's a little overwhelming. I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. I don't know exactly what to say. I don't like, I'm not comfortable with it. Um, to that, I say, um, start with the end in mind. Do you believe it's worth it? Like, do you believe that video, if you were good, if you couldn't fail, would, would it be worth doing? Do you yeah. think video from a core foundation is the, one of the most effective ways to do things? Is it worth it? Like, it, you know, would it be worth your time if you were good at it? And if the answer is yes, then I encourage you to think this, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly until you're good at it. Mm, and the yes. only way you get good is by repetition. I can tell you when I first started my YouTube channel, the first video I ever made, it was two minutes and 42 seconds long. It took me a day and a half to film what one minute with that one, two minute, 42 second video. That's how bad I was. Like I was horrific. Now my YouTube channel, we just crossed a thousand videos on the platform. Uh, and I've done, you know, a bunch of videos on TikTok and Instagram and all these other platforms. And I do live trainings all the time. And like, obviously, uh, you could probably tell I'm pretty comfortable talking at this point in time. And so it's like, you do it in repetition. I get a lot of people that come up to me and are like, oh my gosh, I'll never be like you. And I'm like, I remember doing my first like thing and being horrible and feeling like, I remember my wife, like standing next to me, trying to coach me being like, what is wrong with you? You're so good at talking to people. Why do you suck at this? And like, you know, and, and I'm just saying, just do it and be real. And, and remember, it's, it's not about perfection. It's about connection. That's it. Chris, can I share some of the videos that you've created? Sure. Okay. So these, I love Chris's vibe. I don't know if they're all there, by the way, because I've deleted some of them. And oh, no, this is great. 
This and is some of them are in some other platforms. But so one yeah. of the things that I want to help folks with is this this idea that when I record videos, everything has to look perfect. I have to sound perfect. My environment has to be perfect. Those are actually not the videos that close the deals. The videos that close the deals are the ones where you're in your living room with the TV behind you, or you're in your Jeep. Yep. You no, know? and you got your flannel shirt on. You you're at a, a a spot. You know, a hotel, a complex, someplace. You're in your your living room. You're in your podcast studio. You know, you do a personalized video like this. Yep. These are the types but, of videos. I mean, if you notice, one of the most interesting things about sending videos like this is that there's activity reporting. Yep. Right. And I'm gonna, uh, Darius, I'm I'm gonna pass it back to you because you're the you're the oracle on this stuff. But this is the actual type of analytics that you can get. Are people watching your videos? Are people clicking on your videos? Book a time with Chris. There it is. That's money in the bank. Yep. Right. So that's so if we send out 100 videos like this, we're going to get 10 or 15 bookings and we're going to close two or three deals. I, so, I don't like to say numbers game, but I guess I just did. No, I'll tell I'll tell you this too, Ruben, that video that you just showed, that was an exact. Uh, so I'm going to tell you this, like I'm going to get really personal. I just got done doing a personal like back wax appointment. So I'm just going to be real, real. Right. Like that's I was like doing really personal stuff. And I got out. I had this email. It was a person who sent me an email. Uh, that was like, I'm really interested, but I've got all these questions. And it was like really long, really long, like email. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm not going to have the time to respond to this guy in the next three days. So literally I hopped in my Jeep. I opened up the dub app and you literally, if you watch that video, I was driving in the interview, like talking to the guy being like, <laughs> not even looking at the camera guys. I was not even looking at the camera for the most of the video. And I was just talking to him being like, Hey, I'm driving. This is what's going on. Let me just answer your questions the best I can in this short period of time. If you have any questions, you can set up a call with my team, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, that was like two weeks ago. Now we literally closed that deal and our, our company is going to have like 24,000 in revenue from that one deal. There you go. So like, it's, it's that like, that's like, you could probably tell I'm pretty high energy. I'm always on the move. Like, and, and, right. and that's, that's how I operate. And this is just like, it fits for me right into my life. And if that's not your deal and you want to do it in your office, that's fine. Be authentic. But like, the power is just astounding to me, like in what it does for people. And, and that is actually like the epitome of what I was just describing this back to the basics. Like there's some cool people like, and we're cool stuff talking about AI and, and, and scale. Like there, there's that part, but back to this basic functionality is where a lot of the success stories happen because oh. this is something that you do every day. You're typing every day. We're not, yeah. we're not building scalable automated businesses every day. That's like a once in a while kind of set it and yeah. test it thing. But totally. the one-to-one -one messaging is happening multiple times every day. And that, right. and that's where back to the basics. And, is really and Darius, uh, and to that point, man, like the AI thing, I think what's going to happen is there's these cycles guys, right? AI is going to build up and it's going to make a lot of people like a lot of money and it's going to be, it's going to be really convenient but eventually people are going to catch on to it and it's going to lose the personalization. It's going to lose the personal touch. It's going to lose the relationship. And I'm telling you, the longer AI is in existence, the more powerful this is going to become. But that's exactly what I was going to say. I've already seen advertisements where they're, they're already bagging on the AI. They're like, instead of dealing with this robot, how about you deal with a person instead? And then it like totally. switches. So they're already bagging on it. So it's only, it's it, the zeitgeist is going to catch up really soon. And you know, maybe some folks with like poor eyesight and things like that, like, hey, is this a, is this a robot or not? You know, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's going to lose its, it's a uh, shiny or pretty quick, but no, there's definitely some cool looking stuff out there. Like I was saying that shiny object syndrome. Oh, um, totally. Anyway. So, I spent some time on chat GPT myself. Right, like, I right, get hey, it. It's so intriguing. Of, we, we, we built it in, we built it into dub. So well, that's, that's, that's a surprise for you guys here. If, nice. For anyone that's not using AI, um, we'll, we'll touch on that here. That's amazing. Yeah, cool. Darius, what else What else did you want to cover? I, I want to cover just one other thing here, um, or at le least one other thing, which is a second type of video. What I just showed you guys was the, hey, hi, personal here. But there's a second type of video, which is equally as valuable, which is a visual. So what I have here is just an invoice. But this can be virtually anything you want to show on your screen. It could be a rate. It could be a renewal. It could be a market update. It could be, like I said, virtually anything. The concept here is instead of just sending over a document, instead of sending over something without any context or maybe a long typed out email trying to bullet point everything, you could simply click the button and record a video. 
So here am I, you see my little bubble now on the screen, and I could now walk somebody through virtually anything on the screen that I wanna present. So this is that personal service. This is bringing the human back to what you're doing instead of just sending over the renewal, instead of sending over the, the proposal, the contract, you're gonna say, hey guys, I wanted to just take a moment and, and walk you through this document so that there's not any confusion. So the first thing was the due date, you know, 23 years ago and some change. So we're way, way past the date, but that's okay. Well, that's okay. We're, 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 we're looking at low digits here and even some adjustments. So we're, we're all good. This is gonna be your renewal. And all you have to do is give it a, a signature over here, sign here, and then some um, initials there. So if you have any questions about this, Click below, give me a call, text me. Uh, I broke a time in my calendar and we can we can go over it if, in detail if necessary. So thanks again. And then check mark. So again, this is a second type of video and the, the applications here are limitless. Um, we talked about social. Chris was saying, look, everyone's posting on social. And for a while, like if bigger companies are, but I know a lot of individuals that just don't make it to that because they're like, what do I post? What am I even, what, what do I even post to social? There's two really, really cool things, videos that we should be posting to social. I'm just gonna segue it all, all into one because I wanna make sure we can get a lot of value in a short time. We're talking about AI, guys. Remember, some people have some questions in here. The best part of AI that we've brought in here <clears throat> is an assistant. We call it Ira. It's powered through the same sort of engine that chat GPT or these AI tools. And this is when you say, what am I going to post to social media? You're literally just going to ask the AI and it's going to give you a really intelligent answer. So you're going to say something like, um, what, uh, I'm, I share statistics, statistics of why people should buy life insurance and maybe you guys spell right. And now this is a very general question, uh, just, just to give it, but the more specific you want to get here, the more specific answer it's going to give you. This is this thing is super intelligent. It's like talking to an expert in an industry of like creative things that you can't even imagine. So like just some stats here. And again, we can drill down and I can even resubmit this and it's gonna give me different answers. So it can be used for estate planning. It can be used for end of life expenses. It can be next 60% of people don't have it and leave their family out on the, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, just a quick summary here. This would be, something you would post to social like what should i post on social today get an idea here's some stats and then i could record a video and say hey guys we talked to chat gpt today and i wanted to share with you some of the reasons the number one reasons why people are getting this type of insurance and so if we have we, we don't have ideas this is no longer really a problem we have the ultimate soundboard built right into dub where you can brainstorm ideas you can get down to as detailed as you want whatever type of insurance or that you're selling or, or offering, um, come in here and ask it. The smarter the questions, the smarter the answers. So um, that's that's really, this is the first part of, of what I wanna talk about of, of the creation component. We talked about ideas here, the contracts, proposals, overviews, anything visual, that's the other concept. Um, and then there's the sort of, oh, sorry. The, the other one was the, the other types of videos posting to social. This is one, the, the market update, the information we're gonna get from our assistant, like what am I posting to social? The other thing is reviews, testimonials, past clients. So Dub makes it super easy to collect videos from your clients. Um, in fact, I will show you that example that I made earlier. Uh, here's, the, here's the video that I just made with the Google Sheets and below it is a button. This enables people to send videos back to you. And one of the favorite posts for all people in professional services, insurance, real estate, mortgage, is testimonial from their clients. If you've worked with a client in the past and had any type of successful transaction with them where they might be willing to do a testimonial, this is one way to capture that. Say, hey, you know, do me a huge favor. A big part of how I get my business is through referrals and testimonials. If you could just do me a favor, share a quick story with me about how we were able to help you and your family through this transaction. And then they can record from their cell phone, from their webcam. Again, they don't need to download or sign up or install anything. And they can just say, hey, you know, working with John was, was really great. He was able to actually get us a policy before uh, a big surgery came up and, you know, everything was taken care of and our family's in a good place now, something like that. And then that is a very powerful post. That not only for social, 
but direct messaging to your to your existing clients, past clients, uh, testimonial is is a super powerful thing. And again, we're coming back to those basics. It's the human part of it. It's the part that robots and AI and none of this can replicate this this component. It can't fake your client's stories. Um, but what it can do is it can make up some stories. Who was I think Dwayne? It was in in our in our last webinar, and he asked it to uh, come up with a story about why someone should buy life insurance. Dwayne, was that was that you? I think Dwayne was in here. Um, anyway, it, it was it, it came up with a really powerful story about like why this person should buy life insurance. So it can come up with stories as well, and they're and they're pretty good. All right, so there's the two types of videos that we should be posting to social. And the second type of video that I showed you guys, which is the visual here. Um, again, Darius, Dar Darius. Yeah. Yeah. What I did is uh, I, I had to write an emotional story about uh, about a young woman who had children who would purchased a cancer policy. She got cancer and then the policy paid all her benefits and, and kept her children fed. And the AI wrote it. I mean, it was, I said, AI, write an emotional story about this young mother who has young children who bought a cancer policy. Now the cancer policy is paying. And I didn't have to do any of the work, right? And I just went and grabbed some graphics off uh, Lexa.art, uh, put those together. It's a wonderful tool. Right. The combination yeah. of not knowing what you're going to do and not knowing how to share the message, both of those are solved in this one tool. You can, you can use the tool Again, it, the smarter the questions, the smarter the answers there, and um, then you're able to repurpose that content. You can actually take it, like what he just described, you have it write a story for you, and then you can take this and create a script on dub to read from, from your teleprompter. So straight from the AI, right into creating a script for your teleprompter, and then you can go read that from your mobile device or right from your, from your webcam. And while I don't recommend just regurgitating something, and I don't recommend a teleprompter until you've practiced it just a little bit, because if it looks robotic, it, if it looks like, hi, I'm doing this and I'm reading from a teleprompter, it's sort of like similar to the AI, right? Like, hey, this, this is, doesn't look authentic. So um, if you need the teleprompter, I do recommend just a little bit of practice with eyeline and things like that. Make sure it looks good when you're if you're using the desktop and reading from it. I wanted to share something very quickly about social media content. Um, Darius, am I sharing this uh, this article? On good. It's all good. OK. And then can you see the controls? Uh, yes. OK, cool. So one of the things that that we've been really encouraging people to do, and this is like an absolute um, I think it's a very innovative way to fuel content for your social media channels is to use the Dub desktop app to take a browser just like this to find an article that's relevant for what it is that you're trying to educate or sell people on and then record a 916, that's a social media video here on, the, on your desktop computer. Now, if you wanna turn your webcam on, you can. You can turn your webcam on and you can, you can have your, your sort of face in a circle. That's not required though. Right. I'm not able to turn it on right now because Zoom is using my camera. But if Zoom were off, I'd be able to show you a little circle of my face. And what's amazing about this is that now you can fuel a TikTok, an Instagram reel, a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitter, any social media that you want to start to fuel. This is a way to capture content because let's just face it, a lot of us don't want to put our mug in those social media videos. And if you hold your camera like this, that's all you see. It's just a big video of your face. And I respect that. I totally understand that. It's not even required that you do that. What people want is content. They don't want necessarily always a close up on someone's face. Now, if you can do that, it's great because it's a relationship building thing. But this is a great way to fuel your social media channels. If you have a coach, uh, they're going to tell you to do social media. That's what they're going to tell you for, for lead gen, right? Because it's the cheapest, fastest, most available medium out there to capture an audience within a certain um, geography of a certain buying profile. And what a better, what an easier way to uh, to capture content. I just wanted to share that real quick. Um, the other thing I wanted to open up, Rob, if if we could have you for a couple of minutes, you know, a lot of people are struggling with, uh, you know, how do I overcome uh, fear of being on video? You know, how I feel imposter syndrome. I feel like I don't sound good. I feel like I don't look good. Everyone goes through those things. The only thing that we have maybe on other people is we just have experience. It's the only thing we have. Nothing is different about our DNA or our upbringing or anything like that. It's just specifically practice. So, Rob, I wanted to get some um, some feedback from you, you know, as our um, as our native uh, video coach here. 
and uh, presentation extraordinaire. Well, I, I think the biggest thing is recognizing your own individual attributes, you know, number one. And sometimes it's tough to do that because Ruben and I, and, and Darius has talked about this too, you know, sometimes you get limited beliefs sometimes. If you grow up, something happens, you have limited beliefs as far as what you can do with your ability. Um, and those kind of stay with you. So the ways to kind of, un, un, there are a lot of ways to undo those kinds of things. But in terms of making videos for business and sales and getting yourself out there in front, you know, being on camera, is to number one, uh, in my opinion, and I've talked to people about this, is to really put your focus on the other person. A lot of the times, like if you were going to have a sales meeting in person where you weren't going to be on video and you sit in front of someone, you know, well, what's your main focus? They're right in front of you. You're talking to them. Now, I noticed in one of the one of the comments in there, I think it was John, you know, mentioned, uh, you know, it, it's really easy to relate to someone in person, but when you have that black screen, that little red dot in front of you, and you don't actually see someone, they're not actually there. The key is we let ourselves think about the things that stop us. And they and a lot of times we stop ourselves to think about the things that we have that can make us go forward. Think about that person that says to you, oh man, you know, Darius, you're super funny when you mention that stuff. Ruben, when you mention that, whatever, man, you have a real, you have a real charm with people. We all have individual superpowers. Sometimes it's tough to find out what they are, but don't let, and like Chris was saying, don't let the perfect stop you from being the imperfect. You've got to just start doing this stuff. When you're going to start talking on camera, have the other person in mind, know what you want to say. Because a lot of the times when we present ourselves, we get a little nervous because we're like, well, what am I going to say? And that kind of starts this fire in you where you're, it's going to affect your mannerisms, your smile, your confidence. When you know what you're going to say, it's like building something from the bottom up. Know what you're going to say, lean into the exact verbiage of what you're going to do, and then know your personality. If you're someone that likes to be around, you have energy, like Chris said, he's out in his car, he's making a video, lean into where you are most comfortable. You know, a lot of the times we like to say the personal is the professional. Keep that in your mind when you're making these videos. Don't feel like, oh man, I'm, I'm sitting out on my porch and is this professional? Throw that out the window. People want to see the most realistic, authentic delivery of your message that is possible for you to give. And a lot of things, like exercises that help, I know it sounds kind of funny, talk in the mirror. Get in front of a mirror and start talking. Start, start doing the pitch. You know, talk about the stuff you normally talk about. Another thing that's really good too is that when you're reading copy or reading on your phone, start reading out loud. Start walking around your house and reading out loud. Get used to orating. Get used to speaking. And that will really help you lean into this kind of stuff. And the last thing I'll say is this is not a live synchronous situation. Like think about theater and think about film when it's done. In theater, you've got an audience in front of you. You go organically from A to Z, all right? In filmmaking, you can start at Z and you can go to K. You do all these different things. You can repeat it as many times as you'd like. There's no pressure on you to get one take Johnny. You can sit here and just do it a few times. Loosen up. And that's the key. And I always tell everyone, rob at dub.com is my email, rob at dub. If you want to send me some videos, I'll give you some breakdowns. Say, listen, you know, how's the eyeline here? How's the sound? Did you get to your point? How's the writing? So if you ever feel free and you're not sure, pretend I'm a prospect. Send me something. And I'll give you kind of give you my opinion back and we can always set a time because the key here is letting your authentic self out, not like somebody else, not someone else you heard, not someone else you watched. You have your own superpower. You just got to lean into it. Hey, Rob, nice. can I say something to that? No. So, so the other thing I would say is, is this is an audition for you, right? Like anytime you, you're sending somebody uh, a message like this, and especially when people are sending you emails, if you get comfortable with, with utilizing video messages as a response technique for emails uh, and you do it the way that I do it just kind of on the fly and you're doing it in the car or whatever that's an audition from the perspective of like if you're trying to get a new client they see like wow they're willing to respond to me in that environment they're always on they're always doing this so you're showing them kind of how you show up right like this is your chance to be like I'm, I'm, if I'm willing to respond to you right now like this and give you this much personalized attention in their mind, whether it's conscious or subconscious, they're thinking, wow, Chris is going to be like, this is just, he lives this stuff. He loves it. Like he's, I can hear it in his voice. He's on the move. Like I want to work with this guy because I know if I ever need anything, like I know how to get a hold of him. I know what the response is going to be. I, I, I have an expectation for what that engagement will look like. Nice thing to add as well, which is when, when Ruben and I started dub, we were both guilty of the same exact thing, which is we would do the, okay, we're going to speak now and it's time to 
deliver the keynote speech, right? For every single thing we would try to record. And it's because you just have some instinct, some something. I, I don't know where it comes from. I don't know where we, we it, you know, we all sort of do it, some version of it. And you have to let that go because it's not going to benefit you. You get caught up in your head. You're like, how, how am I, how am I doing that? You know, all this stuff. And you don't do that in person. You don't, you don't communicate like that in real life. You're not, I mean, maybe on a first date or something, I don't know, but whenever you're talking to people, that's not how you communicate. You're, you communicate regularly. And so it's zoom. Eventually, if you've done enough zooms, it becomes the same and you are like, Oh, okay. Just because we're on camera or a dog barks or whatever. Okay. We're still normal conversation. Mm -hmm. And the same thing goes with video. So the most important thing, the most important be yourself. That way you don't have to add anything else. You don't have to change anything. You're like, hey, this is, I'm going to pretend like Rob said, who's on the other side of the camera? It's your best friend. Cause sometimes we might get nervous when you're going to talk to a prospect or someone that doesn't know you yet. Take it, a, take it, a, the pressure off even further and pretend it, it's a past client. It's a friend. It's a family member and say, Hey, uh, I just want to put, put a face to the name and, you know, take a quick, I don't even know what I'm saying here. Anyway, you know, like, just like literally, and don't delete that. Don't reshoot that. Be comfortable, be yourself because it releases all that extra pressure. And then that's why these people have such followings on like TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and stuff, just because they're authentic. They don't edit out the things where they make weird faces or flub or stuff, you know, and people say, oh, haha, we're human. They're human. I relate to that. So even those little mistakes and stuff, like obviously if you get a phone call in the middle of a video, you can trim that part out or restart the video, but little tiny things don't fix those. In fact, so be yourself most important. Um, uh, some resources for everyone. First of all, um, you can meet Darius, uh, the co-founder of Dub. As you mentioned, we started this company years, but how many years has it been? Wow. Five years in July. <laughs> Unbelievable. July. What a journey. Um, we I, a five year party. We're doing a birthday party. We're July. doing it. We're doing a party. Yeah. Nice. We're doing a party. You know, you can meet Darius in these live trainings that we do. So we encourage you to do that. Dub.com forward slash T as in training. Um, Chris, uh, we shared your links, life180.com and your YouTube channel, which is Life180. Um, any, anything else, any other resources that you wanted to share, Chris? Uh, no, I mean, like, that's good. You can find me on Instagram. If you go to the YouTube channel, all my links for all my social platforms are in the description of every video. So that's okay, the great. place to go. And you can learn about his program there. It's very powerful. Um, I also wanted to introduce um, longtime dub user, Russ Johns. Russ is in the house. Um, he's an expert on automation, on podcast development, scaling your podcast, getting your podcast started, um, building automated workflows, russjohns.com. Uh, Russ, if you could please share your link. Um, what else? Uh, Rob, thank you so much. Anything else we should share? We got a couple of minutes here. I was going to say, yeah, by the way, guys, I know I talked earlier about uh, automations and things being on, being on the next level. This is something that Dub does as well. It's built in. So you can build out complete automated workflows uh, right inside of the platform. So I'm not encouraging anyone not to do that. Like I said, just don't bite off more than you can chew to start. So this is something, uh, just a little preview of what that looks like if you guys are familiar or unfamiliar with automated sequences. So if you want to send messages, texts, emails, if you want things to happen in your sleep and over the weekends when you're not active, um, this is what automation is. So this is an example of an email that gets sent and then it waits a day and then it sends a follow-up email. And then sometime down here, it, it checks and sees, did they watch a video? Did they open that email? Did they engage? Did they do something? If yes, go one direction, make, make a deal, make a reminder to give them a call because they watched. If they didn't watch the video, well, wait till Monday at uh, midnight to bother them. So don't do that. But you get my point is you can email or text or have this automated aspect of your business, just like we do. This is how we were able to scale the business. We don't call and email every single person every day that signs up to dub. That's, that's what the system is for. And your business could be very, very similar. One, one of our favorite uh, use cases is people that missed an appointment. That sucks to go chase the person that didn't show up to their appointment that nobody likes to do that. And that is a perfect workflow because you can just drop them into a workflow and it says, Hey, John, or Hey, first name, we saw you didn't make it to your appointment. Just wanted to give you a link where you can reschedule. Please do so here. And then it waits a day and it checks. Did they click the reschedule button? No. Okay. Wait another day. Remind them. Please reschedule your time here. So, I mean, because that's all you would do anyways, right? If you had all the time in the world, you'd resend the, hey, John, hey, John, hey, John, book me again. You you booked me, you got my hopes up. This is the type of stuff that you, you would want to automate. And uh, 
yeah, the final frontier, as we like to call it um, on the platform. So anyway, training on that guys is available. You know, there's, there's little training videos. Of course, I live train every day. If you guys want to come talk to me uh, about any part of that. So automation again is, is a, uh, I, we we love it. Obviously we're building and we're investing in it, but I did start with saying back to the basics to begin with. So don't, don't run before you can walk. Nice. And just a little, little recap video. You know, what we learned from Chris here, I think is that we need to bring back the personal touch. We need to figure out ways to punch through the noise to make an impact, you know, whether it's corporate gifting or sending a video message, using a QR code, like what Scott did, sending that video email, even broadcasting a video email or even SMS is really, really powerful. So important. It's everything. Insurance is not a commoditized product. It's about customer service. It's about relationships. And it's about life and death, which is the most important thing, right? So we encourage you guys to go take advantage of that. You know, what Rob taught us is the importance of not listening to the voices in your head. That one time that that person said that you're not great on video or you have a bad voice or your hair doesn't look good. All that stuff is 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 what they said. It's their opinion. It's not relevant for us. We need to get practice. We need to repeat, 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 you know, do the reps and put ourselves out there because the results are, are amazing. You know, Darius taught us Let's go through the, the motions of leveraging technology. Let's do one-to-one -one messaging. Let's do one-to-many email video campaigns or SMS. Let's leverage automation. You know, let's, let's figure out ways that technology can improve our lives, streamline the process, generate more leads to ultimately more, have more income for our businesses and for our families. Um, I wanted to thank you guys. Chris, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Ina, thank you so much for helping organize all of this. Appreciate you all. 2.30. Any, uh, any final questions before we go here, guys? I'd love to see some of you in the live training. If you uh, if you haven't attended already, we can, we can come in there and then make sure your, your stuff's all set up. Make sure you're taking full advantage because we only scratched the surface of just some use cases here. There's a lot more uh, opportunity to customize your videos and set up your shortcuts and best practices and things like that. So uh, come learn. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to see you at the next one. Next time.